And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the New York Yankees. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you. And yeah, we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now, getting the nod in this one, Nestor Cortez Jr. What should we keep an eye on here? Oh, well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W. And if you do that, you'll look up, and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Wander Franco at the plate and takes high there. Wow, boo. First pitch of the night, and looks like the strike zone's a little small. First pitch, 7.06. And he deals. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride Not load accepted. out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. That one down the line and foul ball. Runner goes again. Strike in there. The tag and he's out at second. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. 0-2 now. That one the other way. That's a hit. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Austin Riley. Check swing, went around. It's 0-1. Next pitch is downstairs. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the end. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Back for more from the Bronx. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Leading off for the Yankees. The shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Misses outside, ball one. The 1 0. Just off the outside part of the plate. That one's spoiled, and the count now 2 and 1. The pitch. And a good eye there.
And a payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Three two on the way. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Leading off. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. DJ LeMayhew. First offering misses badly for ball one. And the 1 0. That one inside. Two balls, no strikes. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Move first. Connor Falefa dives back in. The 2 0 is in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Next one is off the play, and the count is 3 and 1. And a 3 1 on the way. And there's ball four. You know, Bill gets been said, these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. It's Aaron Judge now. Aaron. Judge. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical. Very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The judge spoils that one. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Two and one on Judge. Ball three. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes, and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. The pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Got him swinging. And one away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on that the inside cool. part of the plate. Couldn't so get around field. on it and catch it out front. Joey. Many times if you do, it's a Yellow. foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Here's Joey Gallo. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no <laughs> Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Connor Falefa over at second. LeMayhew over at first with one away. This one in the dirt. Next offering misses, and a count is three and one. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching, but you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. Ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. Connor Falefa headed for the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. one nothing, and it'll be runners at second and third, only one away. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. Here's Josh Donaldson. Matty Fick, the third baseman. Josh. 
Donald. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing to one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Here comes a pitch. And a count one and two. The pitch. And now it's even up. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Second and third here. One away. And another ball. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and fires. Out front and foul to the left side. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Second and third, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball, third base side. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Two outs, two in scored position. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And a swing and a miss. Good job of damage control right there. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. Many years ago we saw this possibility But we didn't have a way Back at Yankee Stadium, top of the second, Lau at the plate. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Cortez, back to work. That one missed. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and one. Check swing, but he went too far. And now two and two. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive.
And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Here's Mike Zanino. The catcher, Mike Zanino. And that's in there for strike one. All in one now. Nope. Just missed. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, Boog. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. What about some no nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Swings and misses. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Two outs, space is empty. Now the third baseman, Yandy Diaz. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. And a strike in there. And that one sliced foul. This one popped up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're down. One, nothing. Back in the Bronx. We head to the bottom of the second. And stepping in for the Yankees, Labor Torres. The second baseman, Labor Torres. Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Next pitch is outside. The 2-0 is in for a strike. When you think about it, he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. Swing and a miss. And the count's even at two. And now it's filled up. And the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. In there, and it's 0-1. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate but he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. And the righty deals. And a foul ball left side. Nobody out, runner at first. 
He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. And a pitch. Swing and a slow roller. Tosses to first, and they take care of Stanton for the out. Batting nine. The catcher. Ben Wortvet stepping in now for the Yankees. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. First pitch, and he just misses. Fouled off left side. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. The 1-1. One, one. Foul ball there. This one lifted in the air, left field. Makes a nice running catch. And there are two down. Now batting, shortstop, Isaiah. Back to the top of the lineup, Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. Line drive, and that one gets down. Fair ball. Runner around third. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. The run comes in from second. It's 2 nothing. Picks himself up at RBI. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Two outs, runner at first. D.J. LeMayhew digs in now. now. The designated hitter. Got her for Leffa on the go. Pitch misses in. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back at Yankee Stadium, out of the third inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. The, the right fielder, number 13, Manuel. Cortez, back Margot. to work. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Singing four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow, and I'll give you a free suit. That one's in there, 0-1. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. And he deals. On the ground to third. 
zips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Bounced out to short. Connor Falefa handles the chance. Over to first. And that is that. Rays held in check here. They trail it here 2-0. Here in New York, now it's LeMayhew up to him. He's not the power guy, he but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. The designated hitter, DJ LeMayhew. The right-hander back to work. That's a strike going on. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at old Yankee Stadium. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here is Aaron Judge. Judge, right eighth shooter, best batting average right in the American League. Aaron Judge. And the first offering is not close. Swing and a pop up. Brings it in. Two down. Now batting. No left fielder. Joey. Gallo. Two outs, base is empty. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. That one fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. Two down, nobody on. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the Yanks go quietly. So the Yanks go in order. But they're on top 2 nothing. Back in New York. On to the fourth. Now batting Wander Franco. Leading off to the raid, the shortstop, Wander Franco. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Oh. That misses the zone, and now it's even one and one. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Up next for Tampa Bay, the left fielder. So up next, Harold, Harold Ramirez. Ramirez. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. and. Part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The lefty, the 1 0. -oh. That clips the corner. He's going. 
Here's the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Throw, and just ahead of the tag, slides in safely at second. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home runs so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Franco at second with nobody out. Swung on, belted. That one back there. Racing makes the catch. Runner tagging for third. And he's in there as he tests the arm and left. One away on the fly out. Now batter, the designated hitter. Austin, Austin Ryan next to hit for the Rays. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. In there for strike one. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. Out to short, lays out, he's got it. It's there, and that's a great play. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy in the mouth. And now it's Brandon Lau. And first offering is fouled off. And that one hammered way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Brandon Lau bops one out of here. His 19th home run of the year, and we are starting over. It's 2-2. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach, you'll hit for a high average as well. Two outs, nobody on. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Mike Zunino. He was a strikeout victim Mike. his first time. Zunino. First offering, misses the mark. And a pitch. Ripped on a line to center. Stan makes the catch, and that'll do it. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you asked for me. About to go no stream app. Back now in the Bronx, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Josh Donaldson. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Yeah, the right-hander deals on the ground. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. Not in time. That's a leadoff double. He was definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. Got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. And here is Anthony Rizzo. The bat, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. First offering, and it just misses. A 
Next pitch downstairs, 2 and 0. Oh. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. Well, in this situation, ahead 2 0, oh, he's put himself in a really good spot. Center field. Puts it away for the out. Now that, the second baseman. Here is the young so phenom, Labor Torres. Two for eight in the series so far. Labor swings, drives one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. Donaldson on its second with two down. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's back. Holy Toledo! John Carlos Stanton blasts one out to the opposite way. His 18th home run of the season. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-2. There was a fastball down the middle. I don't think the hitter recognized the pitch, but once he did, was quick enough to get it in play with some authority. He got that up and out of here. So two away with nobody on. Digging in, Ben Workbet. The batter, the catcher. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. That one misses in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That ends the inning. Giancarlo Stanton flexing that big time power swing. It's now 4-2. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Yandi Diaz. Leading off for the Rays, the third baseman, number two, Yandi Diaz. The wide to kick the pitch. Out there to center. Stanton is there. And there's one away. Up next for Tampa Bay, the right fielder, Manuel Margot. Here's Manuel Margot. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1 for count. The next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Ball to strike. And there's a ball. One down, base is empty. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box.
fouls one away, and now three and two. A wind and a pitch. Swing and a line drive caught. Now batting the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets next to hit for the Rays. First pitch just misses. Left hand hitter waits. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Check swing went around. Now two and one. And there's a fly ball deep right field way back there and out of here. Gavin Sheets goes deep his 14th of the year and they cut into the lead. It's 4-3. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Pretty amazing going way now back. The Possibly the best center fielder Kevin I've ever seen. Kiermeyer. And that's in there for strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Chases in the dirt, slider there. Wide throw pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Now batting, shortstop, Wander Franco. Wander Franco now at the plate. A switch hitter batting right. Throw over to first. Kiermeyer back in. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game the pitch out. At the belt and fires. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Cortez with a move to first. Kiermaier dives back in safely. Back over to first. On the ground to the left, and that'll do it. The Rays creep closer thanks to the homer. 4 3 New York. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton set to get us started. Bottom five. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Kiner Falefa. The pitch. 
Good eye right there. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Peter Fairbanks getting ready to go. Springs, a left-hander, also throwing. Righty delivers. Misses off the play. Two balls, no strikes the count. And a pitch. That one missed. Now 3 and 0. Oh. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. And a 3 0 finds his own. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Now back, the designated hitter, DJ. Here's DJ LeMay. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next one misses, and that's ball two. Next offering upstairs. Here's a 3 0. And he walked him. Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help oh, him out by game. swinging at something out of the zone. Right so, digging Aaron. in, Aaron Judge, Judge, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Oh, and the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss, and a count one and one. It normally does damage on that pitch in that location, just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Righty to the plate, and fouled off. Look out, that ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines, just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Next offering is downstairs. LeMayhew leads off first with one away. Next offering misses. Three and two down. Three two now. Judge rips that one. Holy Toledo! Aaron Judge leads the yard. His 19th home run of the year, and they add on. It's six three. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working how is that fastball out of here here comes the skipper out of the dugout and he's ready to make the move Shane Baz will depart walks a big problem for him today as he leaves on the hook for the loss back after a quick break with the new pitcher Ryan Thompson comes on now. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Joey Gallo. 
One for two with an RBI back. double back Let's in the first. Joey Gallo. First oh, pitch, no not way. close. Right-hander kicks, deals. Now a screamer into the outfield. Makes the catch, and there's two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it the too battle. hard and right at baseman. someone. You look for one of those loop hits to get a knock Double sometimes. Sir. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. You only live once, you gotta live it up. Yes. My red tie with your red dress. We ain't even planning, but we matching those. Everybody looking when we pass it, no. We just turn the strip into a fashion show. First offering misses the mark. Next offering is in for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. This one in the air center field. Kiermaier makes the catch, and that'll do it. Two-run blast for the Yankees this inning. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. Back at Yankee Stadium, top six. Now the left fielder, Harold Ramirez. The left fielder, Harold Ramirez. Cortez back to work. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Slice to right. And a base hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack now of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some Austin. relief. Nice job of driving Riley. that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now, Austin Riley. First pitch, and he just misses. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The pitch. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Here comes a pitch. And that one almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. Pitch misses there. Ball three. Runner at first with no outs here. to the left side, but it is well foul. The pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And it's caught for the out. The batter, the second baseman. Brandon Lau. Wow. 
Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. In there for strike one. The 0 1. Inside just missed. Ramirez leads off first with one away. Next pitch is outside. Two and one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a bouncer. Throw on to Rizzo. Lau out on the play. Up next for Tampa Bay, the catcher, Mike Zunino. Next to hit, Mike Zunino. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Aroldis Chapman, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. Green, the right-hander, also getting loose. Man at second. Swing and a miss. This is one of those situations where the pitcher may not really want to deal with the guy in the box, and you got to be aware of that. Take your walk. I could do it, but I think he can. Next pitch misses outside, and yeah, that's ball two. The next offering misses three and one. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Mike Zanino the opposite way. That's career homer number 149. And they're chipping away. It's 6-5. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Nestor Cortez Jr. departs, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. New pitcher for the Yankees, Michael King. 25th appearance of the year for him. Number 73. I'm just Mike Dog. Nobody knows how to feel. Cause you wasn't there when I almost drowned in my own blood sweat. LLV. I remember him and Jack. So two down. Yandy Diaz now. Now batting. The third baseman. That one's in there on one. Right-handed reliever. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. The Rays with a two-run homer. It's tightened up a bit at 6-5 now. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Leading off for the Yankees, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The pitch. And there's a strike on the outside corner.
the 0 1. In for a strike, and it's 0 2. Next pitch inside, and the count is one and two. Left hand batter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the righty deals. A little roller up along first. Sheets takes it to the bag. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now back, second baseman. Glaber. Here's Glaber Torres. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Heraldus Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. Chopper right side. Sheets picks it up. A flip to the pitcher covering. And Glaber Torres retired. The center field, number 27. Giancarlo Stanton. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. He had a big swing back in the fourth. A two-run homer, and that helped them get the lead. And what a swing it was, Boog. Poetry in motion. And those are the type that you hardly feel when you connect with the baseball. Just so smooth. A great feeling off the bat. Giancarlo Stanton, certainly a physical presence. And Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Kicks and fires. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Liner, base hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for is. right there. He the drove that ball very yeah. well out to the deep part of the field. And you may be surprised he didn't get a double out of it. But I'll tell you, they did a great job of getting that ball back into the infield right away. And it might have been the right call to hold him at first. At the play, Ben Workvet. Line drive, base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. I can watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Isaiah Kiner Falefa getting ready to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. And it's fouled away. The 1-1. One, one. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And here it comes. Connor Falefa tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. That's ruled a swing. Stan at second. Rortbet on at first with two down. Next one is off the play. And now three and two.
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, dude. But two outs, bases DJ. full. Up to the plate steps Love DJ LeMay here. With all the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground, the first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that is the inning. Huge opportunity missed there. We're through six full. Yankee six, the Rays five. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Zach Britton. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Top of inning number seven, Manuel Margot up to the plate. And a pitch. Ball one there. The tying run at the plate. And he grounds one to the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now the first base. Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets, the next to hit. there and it's 0 and 1. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. That one not close. 1 and 1. Left hand hitter waits. And now two balls and a strike. And the pitch. On the ground to short. Connor Falefa picks it up. On the run, throw to first. And two away to start the seven. Now batting. The center fielder, Kevin Hume. Here's Kiermaier now. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. That misses. One ball, one strike. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Two down, nobody on. Three. Got him. Third out, and that ends the frame. Down in order, go the Rays. Still a tight ball game. It's 6 5.
We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. The Peter Fairbanks. Number and he'll do his best to keep this Peter close. Fairbanks. Back in the Bronx, bottom of the seventh. And now here is Aaron Judge. This is a true 5 2 guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off The pitch. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Next offering is down low. Swings and misses. Now two balls and a strike. Hits for average power. The ability to feel the arm and then the speed, really impressive. That's towards center. Margot under it. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. The batter, the left fielder, Joey. Joey Gallo, Gallo stepping in now for the Yankees. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. They say you win. Righty delivers. And now the count is even. Bullpen movement for the Rays. Matt Whistler preparing to come on if needed. Springs warming up as well. The next pitch misses. Now two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Two outs. Base is empty. Now the third baseman, Josh Donaldson, for the fourth time tonight. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yo one. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. The 0-2. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Down in order go the Yankees. They lead it, however, it's 6-5. Chad Green ready to go. Trying to protect this lead. Now pitching for the New York Yankees. Number 57. Chad Green. And welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Wander Franco. Leading off for Tampa Bay. The shortstop, Wander Franco. The pitch. Off the mark there. And it's one to no. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Lucas Litke, the closer of the staff, is throwing. Chapman, the power lefty, up as well. Yeah. 
Next one off the plate inside. And now 2-0. And now two and one. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2 0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. And a foul ball. The 2 2 now. Swing and he popped it up. Tatter Falefa sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. Now that left here, Harold Ramirez. Now here is Harold Ramirez. First offering misses badly for ball one. And the right-hander deals. Slapped foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Now batting. Designated hitter. Austin Riley. Austin Riley next to hit for the Rays. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss there. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses outside. Two balls and a strike. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Next offering is down low. Now three and one. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So if all down the line or into the gap, will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Lau in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. The 1-0. He swings and fouls one off. Right-hander kicks deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Riley off of first with two away.
Next offering is way upstairs. Here comes a pitch. Rip to first, caught. The Rays strand just the one. This one remains close, 6-5. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we now roll into the bottom of the eighth. Bay. Matt Whistler hasn't pitched in the last three Matt. days. Whistler. Back in the Bronx, out of the bottom of the eighth, leading off Anthony Rizzo. Leading off for the Yankees, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And he deals. First pitch swinging. Deal one. There's a strike. Oh, two is the count. Next pitch downstairs. Yeah, the count one and two. Oh, two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. One, two now. Stays alive. Right handed reliever and a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Next pitch is popped up. Pulls it in for the out. Now back, second baseman, Labor Torres. Labor Torres up to the plate. First pitch just misses. And the 1 0. Short hop liner handled it short. Zips it across. Two up, two down. The center field, number 27. Just our ball. Two Get outs, base is empty. And up next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The pitch. Swings through that one out in front that time. Kicks and fires. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. And that is the third out of the inning. One, two, three, go the Yankees. As it remains a 6-5 ball game. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Lucas Litke. Number 63. Pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Now wanted to wall. That misses the zone. Now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Well, hitter looked pretty comfortable on that swing. Pitchers don't like to see that. Let's see how he changes it up on this next pitch. Stays alive. And a pitch. Got it. One gone here. Here's the third baseman, Yandy Diaz. The third baseman, Yandy Diaz. First pitch, and he just misses. And here it comes. High in the air, out to right. Judge is under it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. The batter, the right fielder. And stepping in for the Rays, Manuel Margot. First offering misses the mark. The pitch. Misses outside, and it's two and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So Margot is aboard. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Nice yeah, line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. He's already homered in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Margot runs. Pitch in for a strike. The tag, and that's the ball game. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence, and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. 6-5 the final here today. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled Our final line score tonight First for the victorious Yankees Six runs, seven hits, one error They left six men on base for the Rays, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 26 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 47,309. The Yankees thank you.